on Facebook, Instagram, sub internet. Well, today was a, well, today is the last day of a wonderful trip here in Puerto Rico, San Juan. I got to visit old San Juan, go see the castle, the fort, learned a lot of history, seen a lot of art, yeah, met a lot of positive people, very nice place to visit. Um, spent it with my family. Uh, also celebrated Anita Singh birthday. Just, just a beautiful place. And I have to say goodbye. And unfortunately, this morning, at around four o'clock, not exact, but around four o'clock, we got a phone call that my fiance, Angel Sings, mother passed. So life has a way of saying goodbye. I'm here leaving Puerto Rico, living life, and uh, you know, then we get the phone call that uh, Miss Lynette, Angel's mom, passed away y'all so you know it's it's tough on her because her being the youngest out of nine kids it's really tough five girls four boys and you know they all grown but she's the youngest she's the baby and she's very close to her parents and they live in Guyana they live in a poor area in Guyana, but they stay happy. Miss Lynette was a very strong woman. I remember her biting her lip, doing her lip thing. I always remember her from being so strong in the kitchen, cooking for her husband, Charles, just cooking in the house, just cooking, just lifting big ass pots, you know? Um, she was 80 plus. And you know, the last time I seen her, she she wasn't looking too well. She wasn't that strong woman physically anymore. And you know, they woke up this morning and she was cold. So you know, I'm hoping she was uh, sleeping well. And I know she's in heaven now. Uh, she got to meet her grandson. And she spent a lot of time up here with me. I, I met a wonderful woman. And I'm with a beautiful daughter. But she was just a beautiful lady, period. Just a sad time. Um, just never right time for that, you know what I mean? So just, just letting you guys know, you know, just a little info of uh, my family biz. So Angel's grieving right now. She's actually sitting at the beach and uh, she kind of took it really hard. I never did the, the um, I don't know. I just, it's hard for me because I never had a uh, immediate family of my own that I was very close to or anything pass away. I was never really close to uncles and I didn't grow up that way. Uh, my grandmother, she passed at 90 something. I was, you know, I lived with her in Cali when I was a little kid. So I never really had that hit me. But this has, it hit me. Cause, and she never had it. This is her first time, you know, being her mother passed. So I, I, I just know that's hard. So I'm asking you guys, because they live in a very poor area there. We're trying to do the GoFundMe. I never thought I would do this, but yeah, they're putting up a lot of money for this vacation that we just went on, which is very expensive for 12 people. Um, and Anita, she pretty much looked us all out. Um, I'm a broke ass dude, so I didn't really have to spend too much. So we're asking i am asking for you guys help and donations I, I never did the fund me or go fund me thing so i'm gonna try to do this so i'm gonna have 
her daughter helped me out and try to set this up. So if you guys can donate a dollar, anything, because I'm not, I don't think they had insurance on them since they lived all the way in Guyana. I don't know what the situation is over there. So I'm gonna try to set it up, you guys. So I'm just letting you know a little insight. I'm a little still shooken up and everything. Hopefully you can hear me because I'm here on the beach in Puerto Rico about to say goodbye and catch my flight in a couple hours. So yeah, man, it was a great time and a sad time at the end. And God is good, man, you know? She lived a long life and she was very happy. And I have nothing but great memories of this lady. So God bless and my condolences goes to the Singh family, the Tennessee family, and you all. God bless, man, live life to the fullest, live positive, and just be thankful. Tell that person that you love them. Okay? Signing out, man, Flyberg, man. I'm gonna set this GoFundMe thing up, man, and hopefully we can get some funds to contribute to this funeral and the burial and the trip to Guyana and all that. So, thank you guys, I'll keep you updated. Flyberg, I'll let you, man.